Today's video is on how to properly check a capacitor for any remaining voltage before working on equipment. And this one right here is a hermetic compressor and it's using a start capacitor. And I've just shut the unit off and it's been sitting here for about five minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you what might be logical to check the capacitor for voltage. Right now I have it set on the meter for alternating current. As you can see right here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm already clipped onto one side of the capacitor. And I'm going to go ahead and check to the other side. And here's our voltage reading. Pretty much zero volts AC. But what we really need to be doing, even though the line voltage applied to the start capacitor is alternating current, it acts like a battery when it's shut off. It's storing energy. So we need to switch to the DC scale on our multimeter and measure across it. So now that I'm measuring on DC, it actually has 241 volts still present across the terminals. So that is the correct way to check a capacitor for any residual voltage is on the DC scale, not the AC scale with the unit shut off. So hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching.